Hi, I'm Sean Gannon. This is Minute Math, and today we're going to learn about solving proportions. And we're going to solve each one of those proportions. So, if I was given this proportion, 4 over n plus 2 equals a good old 7 over n. Not centered, but it's okay. I'm going to cross multiply. That's my first step here. Cross multiply like that. Give me a 4 times n on the left and a 7 times n plus 2 on the right, okay? Well, I need to distribute that 7 across. So 7 times n is 7n, and 7 times 2 is 14, and bring down the 4n right here. So let's combine our like terms, and this is a tricky part. So I'm, I'm going to subtract a 7n to both sides. That gives me here a negative 3n on the left and a positive 14 on the right. I then need to divide by negative 3 to both sides because the opposite of that multiplication is division. Divide by negative 3. Leave me with n on the left equals, well, it's 14 divided by negative 3. Okay. Well, we can do our long division here Okay, uh, with that. And then if you know off the top of your head, that's going to be 4 and what? Negative 4 and 2 thirds or 4.66. So let's go use our calculator here. 14 divided by 3. Comes out to be 4.6666. Repeating, but it's a negative because a positive divided by negative is a negative. So I have a negative 4.6 repeating right there. I'm going to keep it exact. I'm not rounding here on this one here. So 14 divided by negative 3 is really 4 and 2 thirds. And that comes out to be negative 4.6 repeating. So let's recap. We're given 4 over n plus 2 equals 7 over n. I cross multiply here, giving me a 4n on the left and a 7 times parentheses n plus 2 on the right. I distributed the 7 across, giving me 7n plus 14, which is 7 times 2. I subtracted 7n on both sides, giving me negative 3n equals the 14 right there, coming down. I then divided by negative 3 on both sides, giving me the n by itself. And so now I was left with n equals a negative 4.6 repeating. I used my calculator for that one. Uh, but you probably could do it off your head or you do a long division and figure it out. But right here, I just didn't use the calculator. So I'm left with n equals a negative 4.6 repeating. No rounding needed because I had that little bar at the top. And that is my final answer.